In today's video, I'm going to show you all the tips and tricks for the quick panel settings on your Samsung Galaxy S9 or other Android Oreo Samsung devices. Let's get started. Hey everybody, welcome to Tech with Brett, where I help tech work for you. So first, let's head into the notification tray. So that's by pulling down the top of the bar, and then you pull it down a second time, and here are all the quick panel settings. Now there is a quick way to get to that. All you need to do is pull down the top of the notification panel with two fingers. So there we pull it down with two fingers and it is able to show us all of these. So before we go into how to adjust all these settings, if you select the menu at the top right, here you have two different options on how you wanna order it. One, you can do button order, which it will actually allow you to edit the order of these. So I could click and drag and move these around in any way. So like here, I want the flashlight to actually be up here at the top. Then I select done. Then the other option is if I want to change the grid size. So here I have a three by three grid where you just have three icons, or you can go up to a five by three grid and you have a lot of icons right there, but we'll leave it at four by three like the default is set to. Then down here at the bottom of the bar, you do have a brightness control. So if you click that down arrow, it will open this setting where you can adjust the level of brightness. And then you can also adjust auto brightness and show control on top. So when this is on, that allows you to easily show the brightness settings when you are in the notification tray. So let me show you. So when you're right here, it shows the brightness. If that was off, you actually wouldn't be able to adjust the brightness from right there. So that's a really nifty way to control your brightness. So make sure you enable that. And then here you could turn on the auto brightness if you want, but we're just gonna keep it at those settings right now. And if you would like to go into the full phone settings, you can just click the settings gear right there and that will go into the settings of the phone where you can browse and adjust all of the settings of the device. Now next we have the quick panel settings. So for each of these, there's a few ways to adjust them. So right here on the Wi-Fi settings, if I just tap the Wi-Fi icon, that will turn off Wi-Fi. If I tap it again, it will turn it on. Then the other way to control these settings is if you tap the words right here, that will change different settings. So there it quickly opened up what networks are available. I can then turn Wi-Fi on and off right here, select done or go to further details. So details will take us into the Wi-Fi settings. And one third trick that you can do with these is if you long press on that icon, it will take you into those detailed settings quickly. So there you go, you can adjust the Wi-Fi, you can turn it on and off, advance, change your Wi-Fi network right there. So that's what the Wi-Fi will do. Next we have mute. So mute allows you to change your sound. So you can do sound, you can have your phone be vibrate, or you can have it be completely mute. And then here you could set the option to temporarily mute, where right now it's going to only mute notifications for one hour. If you wanna to go to further details, again, go into the details, and there you have all these sound and vibration settings. With the sound settings, you're able to adjust that also just by tapping the icon. So there you have the sound, the vibrate, and the mute option. Next, we have Bluetooth. So we can turn Bluetooth on and off. I can tap Bluetooth icon right there. I can see what is available, quickly connect to the Bluetooth. Next, we have flashlight. So flashlight's really handy. With the flashlight, if I tap the words, then I can adjust the brightness. So I could go all the way up to a level five or down to a level one. And then again, that is how you can quickly turn on and off the flashlight. No third party flashlight apps required, just right here in the notification tray, pull it down, and there is the flashlight, really easy to use. Next, we have auto rotate. So if you turn that on and off, it will stay in portrait mode. If it's off, when you turn it on, it will then allow you to rotate your device. If we select auto rotate, that's all it says right there. Next setting here is airplane mode. So airplane mode will disable your Bluetooth, your Wi-Fi settings, so it is not broadcasting any signals. That's really handy when you're going on a plane, you can quickly switch that button, your phone stays on, but it's not broadcasting any signal, and then you turn it back off and you have all your network connected. Here we have power saving mode. So power saving mode allows you to slow down your phone and do a few other settings. 
so that it will maximize your battery life. So right now it's saying, if I keep this off, my battery is gonna last me nine hours. If I turn it on, it's going to last me 11 hours. And if I do the max power saving mode, it would last me 28 hours, where it's essentially gonna disable many of the functions of the phone and allow for me to have the most efficient battery life as possible. We could select the details here to learn more about what that is going to do. And here we can adjust the settings if we enable a different mode. And so you can go in and play with those to see exactly what they do. So next we have mobile data. This is really important. This is how your phone is able to connect to the internet, different applications sync your information. So you could turn that off if you are trying to save that. Here we have performance mode. So this allows you to optimize your phone, whether you're gaming, watching videos, or you want it to just run really fast and really well. You have all those options. Here you have the optimized setting at default. And next we have blue light filter. So when you enable blue light filter, that will actually turn down the blue light that the phone is admitting. And this is said to have caused strain and other stress on your eye. So when you turn off the blue light, it's able to help you relax and it's said that it will help you have a better night's sleep. So one of the things you can do is when you go into here, you can change the opacity of the blue light filter. You can also go into the details of the device and have that blue light filter set on a custom schedule. So you can choose which time you would like it to turn on or you can just have it turn on at sunset and turn off at sunrise. So that's really handy to have. Next, we have mobile hotspot. So if your phone plan allows it, you can actually turn on a hotspot from your phone and connect multiple devices like other tablets or computers right to your phone. Here's where you can see what your network is called and there's where you can see the password. And if you go into the details, that is how you can adjust all of those settings. Next, we have the secure folder. The secure folder allows you to lock certain information, pictures, applications, all into one folder. And it's very secure and password protected. So if you wanna know more about this, I do have a video all about how to set up your secure folder and you can click the pop-up on screen to go and learn more. The next option on the second page here is location. So location uses your GPS and Wi-Fi and mobile networks to tag where you are. Now this is important if you're navigating or if you want your pictures to tag your GPS location so you can remember where you took them as well as if you're using any fitness apps to locate where you ran or you biked. Location is very important. So make sure you keep that on if you would like to use those settings. Next we have NFC. So NFC is a chip in the phone that is able to transmit within one inch of another NFC device. So if you've used Google Pay, you're able to use NFC to pay at the terminal, or you can actually tap your phone to another Android phone and send certain information as well as touch NFC tags. The next option here is always on display. So this is what is on your screen when it is locked. This will show you the time as well as pictures and other information right there on the lock screens. So if you wanna quickly adjust that, select always on display. Here you can change it from a home button and a clock to just clock your information, and then here just a home button. And I do have another video all about how to adjust those settings. Next, we have Smart View. So Smart View allows you to quickly connect to other Samsung Smart TVs and Chromecast devices right here with Smart View. So if I turn this on, it will show me what's available on my Wi-Fi network. I select one of those devices, and then it will mirror my phone to that device and so I can play videos on the big screen, I can play and listen to music as well as share presentations for everyone to see. Next setting is phone visibility. So if you are trying to share information with other devices through a Wi-Fi direct connection, you can turn on your phone visibility so it's easy for other people to connect to your device. When this is on, others will be able to open up their Wi-Fi direct settings, see your device and send you information. So I most of the time have this off, but if I ever want to send and receive information, I quickly turn that on so that it can do that. If we go into the details here, it will tell you more about how that works. Next, we have Do Not Disturb. Do Not Disturb allows you to mute calls, alerts, and media, except for selected expectations. So maybe there are certain contacts that you want to always be able to call you, you can enable that. Or maybe you want certain apps to not alert you, this will do that. So you can quickly go through and learn all about this in the details right there. Next, we have the Sync option. Sync allows your different accounts on the device to connect to their servers and networks so that it is able to always have the latest information on your phone. So if for some reason your Google Calendar isn't backing up or your contacts aren't syncing, make sure you turn on the sync option to be able to have all that information go through. 
If you go into the details, you will actually tell you what apps are not going to sync when you have that disabled. Next, we have the edge lighting feature. So edge lighting is when you receive a pop-up notification on screen instead of having the normal drop down. And I do have another video all about that as well. So here you can adjust if you see it always or when the screen is off or when the screen is on. Next, we have Dolby Atmos. So here, new on the Galaxy S9 or on Android Oreo, you can actually adjust the sound settings. So here we have auto, movie, music, and voice. So depending on what you're listening to, you can quickly go in there and turn that on, and this does amp up the sound. So with the S9, you have the surround sound speakers, makes it sound really nice. Now, you may think that is all of the settings, but there's a few hidden ones. So if we select the menu again, and we go to the button order, down here at the bottom, we have a few more options. So let's drag those up. We have nearby, and here we have voice wake up from Bixby. And your device may have different ones up here depending on what applications you have downloaded. So if we select done, now we have the new options here. So nearby is a service that allows you to quickly connect with other devices that are locally. Maybe you're setting up a Chromecast. So if you're setting up a Chromecast at your home, nearby would find that Chromecast and quickly connect to it. Here it's showing other applications that have been specified in a specific area so you can learn more about a certain website or even an application. And then the last setting that we have here is voice wake up. So with Bixby, if I say, hi Bixby, it will actually start listening to me. But if I wanna turn that off, I could simply turn off the voice wake up. And now when I say, hi Bixby, it is not going to wake up. We can also select the voice wake up and then go into the details to adjust any of the voice wake up settings that we want to choose. So there you have it. That is all the settings that you can do with the Samsung Galaxy Oreo phones. And if you have any further questions about how any of these settings work, let me know in the comments below. And if this is your first time here, I'd love to have you subscribe so that you can be notified of my new and upcoming videos. Thank you guys so much for watching. We'll teach you more on the next one.